Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.core and today I'm going to show you how to get IP address uh, but uh, IP address of the uh, client machine as well as the remote machine. So there is the proxy enabled uh, uh, server uh, IP address that is the proxy enabled IP address if you if you have a proxy enabled IP address then you get just uh, use HTTP X forward port. Uh, forwarded for and if it is not enabled your proxy's address then you can use remote address by using request or server variables but uh, here I got an error there on the server variable because this is the ASP.NET Core and how to get the IP address so uh, just I found that server variables does not contain a definition that is CS1061 error HTTP, contact, HTTP request uh, does not contain a definition for server variables and no accessible extension method server variables it's accepting a first argument of type HTTP request could be could not be found so how to resolve this types of error in ASP.NET code so finally uh, you have to open your program.cs file and uh, or you can say the startup.cs file and you have to add this uh, things like forward header options and with the options dot forward header forward header dot x forward for and x forward proto by using x forward for you just get the remote address as well as the ip address instead of this uh, server variables that is the previous thing in esp.net mvc and now you are using esp.net core so you you can remove these things from here now after that you have to add uh, just remove these things from the from your code as well now the save this comment and you can use uh, to get the ip address from your uh, connections so you can use ip response.http context.connection.remote ip address dot to string as well as you can use wikipedia uh, context like that local host for your local host uh, 001 that is the local host address get a dns ip address get local host address and then find you have to ip address so just now to save this string as well as you have to use program.cs file and in, in which you can use app dot app dot use forward header now save this and after that you have to run your application and you will see that the output uh, and you just got the IP address of your remote as, as well as your local host After running your application, you can see that the IP address, there is the IP address 192.168.1.7. That is your IP address uh, for your local host. Uh, and if you are running your uh, uh, running your application on your remote server, then you will see that your uh, IP address is like that for the remote address. So this is the thing you can do uh, for getting the IP address for uh, you have to add uh, like that that is the forward header dot x forward header for and x forward header proto and looking like that if ip address is your local host ip address then you can see that ip is a dns dot get host entry that is the host name uh, dot address list dot to string okay so uh, here we have the host address like that okay so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core